right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, just one day away. Why am I saying it's one day away? Well, the day is already over, and by the time I drop this information on y'all, and we move on to the next thing, we really just got Wednesday, and we know that when you wake up on, what, Thursday, about 8 o'clock? Tysino will have the game. He's going to be streaming it. So we really just one day away from the game, man. So let's just get right into this stuff, man. We got the courtside report dropped about 15, 20 minutes ago. We're going to go through it word for word. And then we're just going to get right into it. But before we do that, man, check this out, man. If you want one of these shirts, DM me on Twitter, Instagram, all that. I'll, I'll be wanting to put these joints in the store. But if you follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, DM me. We'll get your information. We'll send your invoice. You want one of these joints, man? We got the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, man. Look, man. I just found these joints. These are the stuff that I found. Look, man. This joint is one of the fiercest joints that I found. The I Love You 3000 shirt right there, man. That joint, that joint, fire. And then, uh... And then I got one of these shirts, man. She's Freddy. If you got anything that you just want to do, you can do after drop your, uh... Whatever you want to on the site, man. Go to the site. Breeze Tees, links down in the description. You can upload whatever you want that we got. And then we got this Freddy Krueger one, man, the doggone. Oh, uh, you can't see it because we got the green screen effect anyway. But uh, we got the Freddy Krueger sweet dreams. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to? Y'all already know what it is, man. So check it out. The NBA courtside report. I don't know why I didn't do this uh, last year because when I'm reading this joint, Oh, I got two monitors, so I have a two monitor set up. I got a monitor here, and it's like six feet away from me. And then I got a monitor right in front of me. I don't know why I haven't been just reading this stuff right off of this monitor that's right in front of me, a 32-inch monitor right in front of me. I don't know. But we're going to go through this together, man. No gameplay, because I really suck. Y'all don't watch me for gameplay anyway. Let's just be honest with y'all, man. Let's just get right into it. Last year's introduction of the city was a big step toward making 2K an immersive open world basketball adventure. In two, I mean, NBA 2K22, the My Career Story takes place entirely within the city limits, uh, diving deeper into in, into many layers. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man, it's gonna be dope, man. Um, hopefully it will. Anyway, Visual Concepts uh, Development Team. Visual Concepts Development Team. Hi, everyone, before we get, uh, we, uh, before we do this course, I report. We don't care about none of this. I'm skimming through it to see if y'all wanna, without further ado, yeah, they don't even say that, without further ado, uh, question, question. All right, here we go. New Gen NBA 2K22 experience in my career. We always strive to deliver a unique my career experience and last year's introduction of the city was a big step toward making 2k a more we already said that um this year we take a giant leap as my career story takes place entirely within the city limits bringing a level of immersion and control to the mode that feels completely new i'm i'm, I'm ready for that uh what makes this possible what makes this possible is a mode that well, hold on, let me see. what makes this possible is a is a quest based my career that not only uh, delivers the, the the kind of engaging, unique storytelling that my career players have come to love over the years, but also allows the user to take full control of the narrative, completing completing both main storyline quests and host uh, host side host of side quests in various locations. Man, I'm, I'm ready to get to the real meat. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm trying to rest through it. Uh, we have more details on the store on story uh, on story specific uh, specifics and the quest uh system below but the main takeaway is that my career is no longer like a movie uh and is more like an interactive adventure so like an interactive game or something like that we think you'll find this change refreshing and unlike any other basketball video game experience out there no doubt about that as if there's another one out there of course it's of course it wouldn't be my career without making without taking a tricked out my player to the city uh to compete on the blacktop against the best my players in the community and we've caught and we've got a host of uh improvements and enhancements to uh to the city to include the introduction of seasons into the city uh that will help bring your online multiplayer experience to new heights again um again we we have many more details and what's new uh below but let's start talking about my career and your brand new my player mp 
They really gonna call the My Player MP. Why? Look at that boy putting the elbow in the wrist now. Why? Look at that thing. Each year, my each year, my career allows you to take control of a unique My Player journey uh, to the NBA and beyond. And this year is no different. It, 2K22's My Player is MP, a high school star with a hit social with the hit social channel. And that's, that's what all of us want to be. We all want to be stars with a hit social channel. With the hit social channel featuring videos of him embarrassing amateurs on the playground. MP has just moved to the city and his and his best friend and business manager, uh, Ricky Bennett, with his best friend and business manager, Ricky Bennett, and they've got big plans. All right, that's cool. We ready for that. Not only, I'm always so proud of you. Come give me a hug before you go. Let me see, my, my little boy just got off, man. Look, I'm going for daddy of the year. All that good stuff. How you doing, buddy? Hey. I know. How was school? School was great. Nice. All right. I got to finish up this video. See you later, buddy. Hey, hey. Bye-bye. All right, so Ricky Bennett. Uh, sorry about that, man. I, 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 I don't, I'm not editing it out either. I love my little boy. Let me see, but they but they want to make their marks in the exciting world of music and uh, and only got the dress like me and everything in the exciting world of music and fashion. The ultimate goal remains to make it the MB, make it to the NBA and lead your team to the championship or three. But how but how you get there and how you build your personal brand along the way. More about the personal brand system below offers more offers a more diverse and entertaining uh, option than ever. I mean, anything that they drop in there is gonna be is gonna be better, man. NBA 2K22, Michael Real, your progress through the you progress through the story, however you like. It's a much less linear and much more open experience, allowing you to uh, build draft stock through uh, pickup games, college, the D League training session, interviews, and more. The story, the story hasn't left my career. In fact, it's become more immersive than ever, allowing you to allowing you the player to dic to dictate the terms. Uh, there are many paths you can take to the NBA and make. Uh, and hold up. All right, many players you take to the NBA and many side hustles that you can pursue once you get there. But it's up to you and your friend Ricky to find the path that's right for you. Let me tell y'all what this sounds like. This almost sounds like back in, y'all probably don't remember, but back in like 2K9, 2K10, when we all first started doing YouTube, how Chris Move used to do it. And like he would mix like Midnight Club and uh, as Azure Effect also, my, my boy Azure Effect, Azure Effect was probably the first person that I ever saw do it, but he would mix like GTA, Midnight Club, and all these different games together to make his My Player seem like, you know, it was it was something else, man. And so I, I thought that was, I think that's dope. And that's gonna be dope to see that actually come to fruition and all of that stuff, man. Never seen Azure Effect, you need to go over there and watch the videos. We know y'all seen Chris Move. Uh, NBA Entry, getting into the NBA, it's just the beginning of, of this year's My Career Story. Once you make it to the league, you'll have, you have to navigate a complex set of circumstances that we don't want to give away just yet. But they involve difficult conversations with coaches, GMs, agents, and the press, and you'll find yourself right in the thick of the behind the scenes drama that the NBA fans love and that makes up such a huge part of the NBA fan experience. The, the choice is yours. I mean, the choice, the choice you, the choices that you make is in your first NBA season will be hard. Each is anybody even gonna finish the first season? I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section. Y'all gonna finish y'all first season uh, with his own set of pros and cons. These choices allow you to pursue the NBA. I mean, uh, the personal brand uh, that's right for you, making you feel more in control and uh, of your career. That even you, that hold on, more more in control of your career than ever. All right, so, and then as, as ever, as you live with the consequences on how you choose to chase glory. That's dope, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Characters, the sheer number of characters, well, we seen ATM and all of them. The sheer number of characters uh, you interact with is one of the uh, is one of the highlights of this year's My Career. You will be visiting your PR director at the at the team facility, reporters in the in their offices, and reps of the brands like Nike, Adidas, and their and their company headquarters at their company headquarters. Uh, almost anything you do in my career can be done by interacting face to face and color with colorful personalities. A favorite around the office is Marvin Castleberry. Hey, I'm like my boy Sean. Uh, let me see the pretentious record store employee. Make uh make sure you stop by for a little music trivia. You'd be surprised what you can earn as a reward. That's dope. What you gonna get a, a, a 
you know, one of them albums or something like that. I don't know, man. In the future, hopefully, I can get a future album, maybe extra toxic. Let me see. As we touched on earlier, the new structure exists with the uh, help of our new, with our new quest system. Players of open world RPGs will be familiar with this type of vibe. With this type of vibe, everything is a vibe now. With this type of vibe, uh, vibe going for you're not. You're not just taken from cutscene to cutscene. Instead, you choose to, to you choose who you talk to and when to trigger tons of unique interactions with interesting personalities filmed in the in a cinematic style. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of fun to play and allows you allows us to add more narrative beats uh, and story arcs. Narrative beat story arcs never before. Depending depending oh deepening the following uh the, deepening the feeling of living in a real breathable world. Not only will things happen happen to you that are outside of your control, just like in real life, but the choices that you make in everything from play style to interview, unlock many story arcs and and reward uh the, and reward that tailor uh the experience or rewards that tailor the experience to what's going on in your my player whatever. Music and fashion, the NBA stars are, are, are some of the most creative and enthusiastic entrepreneurs in the world. We wanted to, ca we wanted to capture the uh, ex excitement of pursuing side hustles in, the, in, this, in this year's My Player by introducing music and fashion storylines that are free to pursue if, you, if they match your interests. I mean, I probably won't be doing, I'm just gonna be playing the game, putting up content, but hey, uh, we, gonna, we gonna see. That said, some of our favorite scenes in the game take place in the end take place in these storylines so we recommend you you check them out especially if you're if you ever wanted to uh lay down a track in a professional recording studio <laughs> i'm dead uh we don't want to give too much away here but we we're excited for the community to see what's in store uh for them through through those i mean if they choose to pursue outside interests uh in these ways in these fascinating industries personal brands speaking of outside interests I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but I ain't getting tired of this, man. We ready to get the gameplay, but I don't think they're gonna have no gameplay. Maybe they have gameplay tomorrow. Uh, speaking of outside interest, an NBA superstar, the uh, NBA star, has to carefully develop his personal, uh, his personal brand to make mo to make the most of endorsement opportunities. So this year we're including, we're introducing a personal brand system that mirrors this real life, uh, real world dynamic. We'll keep track, we'll keep track of everything you do on and off the court and assign personal brand points to a variety of character uh, characteristics like free spirit flashy uh flashy corporate uh fundamental and more uh you your actions and decisions influence your personal brand and your personal brand dictates what off-court opportunities are available uh to you so think carefully about what you do and how you do it i ain't gonna lie man what they need to do with the personal brand track is show me who i beat in this game so when somebody when little timothy pull up to the chat and then he finally beat me after i beat his ass like 30 times i mean after i beat the dog out of them 30 times i want to be able to pull that up and say then he'd be like oh the series is too no it's a hundred to one you just beat me one time y'all you lost a hundred games but you know it is what it is they'll never do. uh they said they were gonna do that one year but then you know they they ended up not doing it i wish they would do it now we definitely got the, the swords and stuff to do it with next gen but it's cool uh this year this year we've added a lot more side quests to enrich the experience outside of the main story arc we mentioned music and fashion above but there's a lot more uh where that came from ranging from art to from from races around the city uh to sitting down interview up sit down interview opportunities that crop up uh when you're doing like uh when you're doing things like run up to the score at the end of the at the end of the run up the score at the end of a blowout so while there's a main while there's the main story arc uh, that you can follow. There are also tons of opportunities for fun diversion uh, through the city that can change on a daily, weekly, and yes, seasonal basis. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna get lambasted for, for running up the score every time because in my, if you run up the score in my career, say run it up down in the comments. We run up the score in my career. MVP of the city. Uh, let me see, every everything you do in the city, uh, let me see, everything you do in the city and we mean everything earns you uh, MVP points. Uh, NBA and city, NBA and city games, interviews, side quests, and uh, run and run runway walks. Yes, runway walks. I was thinking the same runway walks, uh, amongst other things. All all bring you one step closer to becoming MVP of the city. The ultimate goal 
for any 2K ball. MVP of the city unlock a penthouse. Uh, MVPs of the city unlock a penthouse apartment, quick access to affiliation courts, and and more. No matter if you are a city, uh, if you're a city player, NBA enthusiast, or somewhere in in between, you can become an MVP of the city just by playing the game. Uh, the way that you like it. Okay, so that's cool because I thought there was going to be like something that was going to replace the mayors or whatever. So MVP of the city, you just MVP of the city. On top of everything else discussed, we're we're introducing the concept of seasons to my career and the uh, city, meaning that you'll have a fresh, you'll have fresh content to look forward to every six weeks, which they should have been doing that anyway. It's an idea that they just completely ripped from me, but you know it is what it is. Uh, new side quests, new apparel, and much more. To learn more about how seasons uh, will will keep how keep things fresh throughout NBA 2K22 uh, CR just released pre-launch report. We saw that already. We've um, I actually read it and it was quite disgusted that they took so many of my ideas, but it's all good, baby. We've given you a lot a uh, lot to chew on, and when it comes to all of the enhancements we've made we've made in my career, but we we don't want to gloss over what we've done to keep the city itself fresh. So. Uh, let me see. So let's get it. All right, the city, all and all new city. The first thing you'll notice when you're when you're when you enter the city uh, is how it really is how real it looks. Our art team did an incredible job making everything from bricks to fire escape to windows look more lived in. Uh, there's dirt, scuffs, and aging exactly where you'd expect to see them in the city, and that wasn't built yesterday a city that wasn't built yesterday and depending on what time of the day the light man can we stop with this man with the lights and the shadows on the court nobody wants that but i know y'all gotta do it because you gotta show off it i mean it is what it is depending on what time of day it is the light the lights hit the buildings and uh monuments uh just so just so in in a way that really showcases these enhancements uh take a movement take a moment to look around at sunset and we think that you'll see exactly what we what we mean we've also added interiors that you can uh, seamlessly enter and exit without a load whatsoever okay that's gonna be dope including huge open air mall including a huge open air mall that makes browsing quicker and more enjoyable than ever the uh, the city looks and feels exactly how you'd expect it uh expecting real like a real life city to look and feel and we can't wait to check it out like i said bro we already knew that, that was gonna be one of those things so and it looks like they just turned it on itself like you got the mall in the middle and then the courts on the outside so you can get there every place quickly you still have that epicenter there part of bringing the city to life is adding new locations we touched on this above but everyone is every everyone you interact with in nba 2k22 now has a place in in the city and you'll find yourself seeking out underground rappers baristas uh reporters former nba players uh let me see stars nba player my player stars like atm and all of them and uh there there might there might even be a couple of newcomers throughout the year uh thanks to seasons that's gonna be dope they can add new content keep your eyes peeled for the newest additions to the to the city you never know who you'll meet uh let me see you'll also no you'll also notice that the new locations and returning favorites are now teamed with life so you got the uh visiting visit visit perco latte uh perco latte perco latte observe everyone uh enjoying coffee and conversation take a stroll take a stroll through the farmer's market and see all the people buying for the best the best produce in the city can i eat some of their produce can i go on a an all vegan diet all vegetarian diet or something like that uh the goal here is to make the city feel real and lived in and we think that you'll you'll be happy to uh You'll be happy with the results. Daily quest. Ever wonder what? Ever wonder what you should focus on? Uh, daily. Same thing like Apex and stuff. Now you'll be able to have. Now you will have uh, the opportunity to get five new daily quests uh, that will get you earn you rewards like VC XP, personal brand points, uh, MVP points, exclusive gear, and more. There's a lot. There's a lot of variety uh, to what you can do. Ranging from the ranging from completing uh, statistical milestones in the city, NBA, and Pro Am games to earning endorsements, cash, and promoting local businesses in in creative ways to uh, to taking selfies in front of the city landmarks. Wait, in creative ways to taking uh, that, that's that's grammatically wrong. Let me read that again. Endorsements for cash promotions 
low I mean, cash for promoting local business in creative ways to taking self oh okay from doing that to taking selfies in, in front of uh in front of city landmarks you'll meet people like uh zach levine okay rack levine all right we gonna meet him and uh uh the exact green club athlete of let me see every inch of our improved city while completing the quest objectives uh let me see whether you're complete whether you're a completionist looking for like brute completionist looking for cross looking to cross every t and dot every i or someone who's just uh just looking for a change of pace daily quests are exactly what what you're after uh, it's like you know like like daily quests and stuff like you don't have to finish it you don't have to do it if you want to um to 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 make it to the thing but hey you can to give you a little bit of xp um i do it sometimes in apex and a lot of times i do it without even noticing it because like daily quest sometimes it's just for people that have issues with getting xp if you can just play the game and get it most people just gonna play the game uh we touch seasons we touched on seasons in my career section but but they're also been they've also been added to the city at large and there are some big big changes here in prior editions of nba 2k park and city players uh have had have had one big grind from rookie to legend but this year that will be that will be a new way to uh to mark progress to mark progress uh, to mark progress every season from level one to 40. uh let me see with fun with fun new rewards at every level along the way uh does that mean you'll lose the cool stuff that you learn when you that you earn when you when you when a new season rolls around absolutely absolutely not everything you've earned from previous seasons carries over to the future season the real benefit is to move is to move is to moving toward xp uh seasonal xp is that it keeps it keeps each season fresh and allows you to achieve satisfying progress quicker uh than before every six weeks there will be a new there'll be a new pool of rewards like uh player player panels uh green indicators oh you get new green indicator do we even okay so yeah okay that's cool closing drops uh jump shot release jump shot releases and more get to level 40 and you'll earn the big reward for the season uh level up to 40 in four seasons doesn't have to be in a row and you'll become a legend we obviously can't give away uh what legend rewards what legend rewards will earn but we can all we can already tell that you that you the legend hold up but we can already tell you the legend reward will be as fun as ever all right cool whatever spruce up the city uh in addition to the refreshing rewards seasons will also uh refresh the look and feel of the city there there will be there will be new uh courts floors murals and of course seasonal changes uh let's see every six weeks the season will change and i mean change in ways both profound and subtle uh just like in real life in a city and hey preparing yourself for the city slam oh, start preparing yourself for the city slam what's that you say in time so they're not gonna tell us what that is but hey it's gonna be some dope stuff every season every season will introduce uh introduce four new seasonal stat quests uh pushing city ballers pushing city ballers to the to things to score tons of points wait this is what i didn't want to see all right seasonal stat quest pushing city ballers to do things like scoring a ton of points throw down vicious alley-oops drop dimes and more oh man that's gonna be bad and maybe because they're gonna be people out here saying bro let me get my five assists this game um, drop dimes and more uh over the course of an entire season on top of that every week that will be one new race of the week and then it's, it's speaking of race of the week and they see see they got to do riding or what have you this this might this might just be the king of all uh side quests uh that's because whoever wins the race of the week will win one million vc boy i ain't gonna lie but I, I can already see this coming whoever wins the race of the week you win a one million vc uh let me see you read you read that right one million vc each week there will be a new race course set out set up throughout the city you'll use one of the you will use one of the various um vehicles available to you skateboard bmx bike etc to complete the course and uh to complete the course as quickly as you can the person with the fastest time in the entire community one winner across both playstation 5 and xbox so they made that clear good will receive one million vc pretty cool huh this isn't a this isn't a winner take all though those who don't finish first uh still get still get 
fun rewards like MVP points, uh, BC, and XP. Uh, start your engines or your feet or whatever you want. Uh, apparel brands, fashion is fashion is a big part of the of the ballers uh, lifestyle. They got they got triple B up there. Why they ain't got no big baller brand up there, man? We need that big baller brand uh, lifestyle, and we'll be adding a new new look every season, allowing you to spruce up the uh, spruce up the wardrobe as you progress. I mean, as the year progresses, be on the lookout for drops from clothing brands like uh, M, Max, Billionaire Boys Club, uh, and Billionaire Boys Club. In addition to the returning favorites, there there will be there will even be some apparel items that boost uh, attributes. Uh, think shooting sleeves uh, that boost attributes. Wait a minute, you gonna be able to just buy stuff that just that, that boosts attributes? Think shooting sleeves, so it's part of the game. Is a robust is is this part of the game is as robust as ever? So you're just gonna be able to buy stuff that's gonna boost attributes and not just win them. I don't know how. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about that. Um, let me see. Matchmaking buildings. One of the one of our most requested features over the past few years has been matchmaking. We still love hooping on affiliation courts and holding them down. But for those of you who want matchmaking experience, we got you covered with the introduction of four brand new 24/7 matchmaking modes that takes place in a, in locations throughout the city. Now look at this, bro. The first thing that you see here, and I don't like it, 3v3 player versus player, no squads allowed. Want to hop into a game without having to deal with a super team uh, that's been playing together for years? This is the mode for you. Randoms only, randoms unite. Bro, stop, man. See, everything that 2K does, I told y'all, it doesn't matter what they do, they're gonna put a poison pill in there. Last year they put in the, the affiliations, but you lose XP when you play for a different affiliation, so it's no good. It's just like a poison pill. This year, we get 3v3 matchmaking, and you can play it, and if you're a random, that's cool, man. I want y'all to be able to play against each other and play constantly against each other, but you know what this is gonna do, so maybe this is gonna take the, the, the place of the randoms court, so there will be no more randoms randoms to play against. Do you realize how dead the parts might could could potentially be if if the only thing randoms got to do now and it's fine. I mean, I don't want to just sit there and beat up on randoms all day. I, that's not what I'm saying, but the parks will now be dang near dead because most of the people that come to the park are randoms. Now, maybe the goal is that they're going to go in there play together, you'll finally find a good squad, and then once you find a good squad, then you know, y'all come out there and play in the park and test your and test your metal out there. Maybe that's what it is. But bro, like this right here just just screams to me. This this stuff. This is park killers right here. Three v three player versus AI. Team up with the team up with uh, other players. Squads allowed to take on the take on a wide array of famous ballers. Uh, starting with with our cover athletes Dirk, Kareem, and KD. Uh, think think you got what it takes to defeat these legends? Hop in, hop in this mode and find out. And oh yeah, the player pool will grow and change every season. So you'll always have a uh, have a new batch of NBA uh, legends to test your skills against. If we can play that over and over and you can rank your my player up in that, that's a W, I'm not gonna lie to you because now when we rank up players, we, we can be like, bro, I'm about to go rank my dude up a little bit, man. You rocking? And then, you know, somebody can go with you or whatever. So you can help rank up our players. That's going to be, Cage is coming to next gen. Don't want to hear it. Don't want to see it. But, hey, y'all already ruined it with matchmaking. So it is what it is. Trampolines and basketball. Uh, trampolines and basketball go together like peanut butter and jelly. Now you can now you can get into Cage uh, quickly and take on all comers. Feel like, running a, feel like running with a squad? You can do that here, too. Bruh, so so you can run with a squad in cages, but you can't run with a squad in regular. Bro, y'all y'all gotta stop with this. One v one, player versus player. Sometimes you need to settle things the old fashioned way, and uh one on one duel. The matchmaking mode allows you to get into one on one v one games quicker than ever. I mean, I'm cool with that. I ain't mad at it. Uh, I, I think that's gonna be some inter entertaining streams to watch. I ain't got nobody to play against, just one v one court. But even though that was the best one in the stage anyway, that's, that was always running. Only problem was when you lost, you had to, you know, you had to sit out, but now you ain't gotta sit out, so that's cool. The city wouldn't be the city without affiliations and we're delighted to announce that they're back and better than ever. With each affiliation of, pie, of occupying its own uh, unique borough uh, in the city, We've also made a tweak to the XP system, giving you 
a 20% XP boost for playing games on your home court. So you just get a... So you still incentivized to play on your own court though. Give you a 20% XP boost for playing games on your home court. So if you stay at home, you get a 20% XP boost. It's the same thing as losing XP if you play somewhere else. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. You got, you're encouraging people to play at home. But hey, it is what it is. Events, events are a big part. A big part of playing in the, in the city uh, is events, and and that hasn't changed. The NBA 2K22, we're we're bringing back some of the uh, some of your favorites while adding new and exciting events to keep things fresh. One of the biggest events uh, coming, excuse me, coming in season one, 2K22 is Chips Ahoy, uh, Chips Ahoy Weekend Challenge, where the winner. But well, the winning baller takes home 1 million VC. I guess that's a common thing here is a, a million VC. Uh, we don't want to give away too much uh, too much here either. But we think that you'll enjoy we think that you'll enjoy what we've got in store for you. And of course, events will update uh, with each season. Uh, Gatorade private course. With the addition of the Gatorade uh, rentals last year, we allow players to work work on that game solo or play pickup. Can we put a ball return in there or something, bro? I think we got our own court, so we might have that. Or, or solo or pickup with uh, other players. And the court wasn't big enough for pickup anyway. Like, the ceiling ain't high enough. Make the ceiling high. Uh, let me see. Play of their choice. However, the courts, we, the courts weren't always available, and some players didn't love having to sp uh, spend VC on uh, rental time. So, this year, we've eliminated the uh, VC charge completely and added the ability to hop on a Gatorade private court with, whenever you feel like it. A small change, maybe, but one but one that we think will improve your quality of life in the city. All right, that's cool, man. All aboard uh, the new neighborhood for the PlayStation 4 and all of that good stuff. Let me see what, how much we got. We, we got a lot, man. This is a lot, bro. Uh, let me see. We've talked about the... We talked about that ship. I mean, yeah, I, I guess it's fine, man. Uh, we talked about what's coming to the uh, to the city now. Um, to the city now. Now let's talk about the discussion for the new. Uh, discuss the new Horizons playing uh, Xbox Four, Nintendo Switch, blah blah blah. Uh, Couch of the Mar, man. We don't care about none of that. All right, here we go. The lobby. The ship is constructed with five with five tiers, um, starting in the starting in the lobby on deck four uh the mo the moment you board the ship well the moment you board the cruise will make make you feel as if uh, you've actually you're actually on vacation ready to indulge in festivities to help you get situated uh heather will assist you with, with navigating the ship and offering tutorials and help accommodate you uh, accommodate your state she's one of the many npcs that will assign you the quest uh during the game all right that's cool I will watch one of these. Y'all already seen it. But when you when you're ready to settle in and take the elevator to the deck eight, where you'll find my court, where you find your my court, uh, pro am games and team practice facility. Uh, let me see. My, my 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 court is essentially your home base, and you can uh and you can choose to customize it however you want. Whenever uh whether the whether the whether that entails plastering some colorful murals. Y'all never decorate on my court. I never really did. While well, plastering some colorful murals on the wall, reimagining re the court, or changing, changing out the scoreboard, the 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 choice is yours. Competition is around uh, is around every corner, and the crews has the best competition. Uh, will take place in the engine room. The best competition with pro am three v three games. Uh, let me see. With, with pro am, will take place in the engine room. Pro am three v three games will be uh, accessible to you, but only if you join a pro am squad. I don't think any, I don't even think that really was ever hot, but you know it is what it is. If y'all play three v three player, let me know. Uh, as you work your way through the ship, you'll find any up the game room, restaurants, daily picks, and daily spin. And I mean, on deck fourteen, we got so many boards to share with you guys this year, and. We're excited to see what you earn. On top of the daily rewards and the restaurants, uh, the restaurants will, will do more than just serve fine dining. They'll also give out gifts and boost uh, you know, a couple of times per season. So that's cool, which which you won't want to miss. All right, uh, resting on deck 14 is, uh, resting, resting above deck 14 is 15 with a feature 2v2, 3v3s, and the, and the, uh, the Gatorade training facility, which, which has everything you need uh, to keep your condition to keep your conditioning at an elite at an elite level, plus some breathtaking views. 
confused from the 600. You see, once you finally reach the deck 16, you'll find a numer you'll find numerous courts waiting to, to host 3v3 games and even a new 5v5 court with park rules. What? Uh, okay, all right, well, that's cool. I mean, it's kind of like the rec center of the uh, JRC back, uh, surrounded by a lazy river, uh, properly titled the moat. Uh, you'll all, you'll, you'll be able to easily identify which NPCs offer side quests, uh, because they have a, a exclamation point floating above their head. That's just like in next gen. Uh, in addition to the top deck, uh, features and reality, I mean, it features a reality show, uh, called the goat boat. And you can you can interact with the with the members to receive some more challenges. The ghost boat. Soon you'll be making another round. Season excursion. Lastly, to avoid lastly to avoid getting cabin fever, the crews will dock um, at a myriad of locations this year. Uh, seasons will will serve as the gateway for exciting new excursions, taking to uh, taking you to tropical and recognizable locations each each season. The launch of each season will will lead to more fresh content, uh, new rewards, and uh, unique events for for you to engage with. There's so much to do uh, on and off the cruise, bolstering bolstered by thrilling new events. Without giving too much away, keep an eye on the horizon this year for uh, for things that you've seen and love. And closing remarks, we a visual concept. Listen, man, I ain't a lot of y'all, man. Like it's a lot of stuff, a lot of information. A 30 minute video, I think it was something like that. The main thing that I see here, man, three on three matchmaking, no squads allowed. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. Y'all let me know if y'all a fan. I don't think that it's cool. Uh, we want so so everybody thought they were gonna be able to grind the legend in three v three matchmaking. Hey, maybe you will in the one on one matchmaking. But like I said, bro. It's gonna be something else, man. I should have done the eye drops before. Maybe I could have read them. I'm doing right contact. It's killing me. I can't see nothing. I'm a right eye. But it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Are y'all excited? Are you not excited? Um, and I'm just gonna holler at y'all next time, man. Uh, till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Guys,